Rose on the Bus. Written by Grace LaJoy Henderson. It was Monday morning, and Gracie was eager to get dressed, eat breakfast, and go to school. While eating breakfast at the table with her family, Gracie said, Miss Holly is going to tell us a story to teach us about black women's history today. After breakfast, Gracie said bye to father and mother, sprinted out of the front door, and ran to her school bus stop. When she got on the bus, she sat down beside her best friend, Cindy, who was sitting in the front of the bus. When Gracie finally made it to school, she walked into the classroom and sat down at her desk. Her teacher was standing in front of the classroom. Good morning, everyone, said Miss Holly. Good morning, Miss Holly, said Gracie and her classmates. Class, I want each and every one of you to put on your listening hat because I am getting ready to tell you a true story. Yay, yelled the students. Are you ready to hear the story? Yes the children shouted. Okay, this is a story about a little girl named Rose who had a brown skin color. One morning, a lot of years ago, Rose was standing outside waiting for her school bus. When the bus arrived, Rose stepped on, walked to a seat beside her friend, Jenny, and sat down. Jenny had a white skin color. Immediately, the bus driver said, You can't sit there. Why? asked Rose with a puzzled look on her face. Because your skin color is brown. People with your skin color must sit in the back of the bus. That is not fair, complained Rose. Rose just sat there and did not get up from the seat. Jenny had a sad look on her face. She wanted her friend Rose to sit beside her. After refusing to give up her seat for several minutes, the bus driver finally picked Rose up with his hands and sat her in a seat on the back of the bus. Then he waved over to a girl with white skin color to sit in the spot where Rose had been sitting. Rose was furious. When she finally arrived at school, she told everybody who would listen what had happened to her on the school bus. She asked her friends of all skin colors to help her protest by leaving school and walking around outside and holding up signs that read, everybody should be allowed to sit beside their friends on the school bus. The next day, when Rose walked on to her school bus, she again sat beside her friend, Jenny. The bus driver saw her, but this time he did not ask her to move. Gracie and Jenny looked at each other and smiled. They knew Rose's protest had been successful. And that is the end of the story, said Miss Holly. Wow, said Gracie. Rose was made to sit in the back of the bus just because she had brown skin. That is right said Miss Holly. Cindy chimed in. Because of what Rose did, I was able to sit beside Gracie on the school bus this morning. Gracie looked over at Cindy and smiled. Still feeling surprised about what had happened to brown people so many years ago, Gracie said, I am so happy I can sit wherever I want on the way to school, thanks to people like Rose on the bus. The end. If you enjoyed this story, please like this video and subscribe to our channel.